<laughs> hey, what is up, guys, and welcome back. So today is mailbag time. I haven't done one of these in a while, and I've actually haven't been uploading as much as I used to. It's because I've been working on the whole Neuroflight project, if you might say, because I've gone into a completely different route on that project, and we are making some insane progress. And I'll have an update video on that very soon. Now, let's start with, let's actually start by moving everything away here. And let's start with something that everybody knows, which is the Run Cam 3S camera. Now, this is a pretty good camera. It's not the best camera, but it's a pretty damn good camera, action camera for your quads or, you know, drones or airplanes. So the other day I saw they had a deal where you can get a, one with a battery and I actually got one of those. So now I have two Run Cams. And this is going to be very useful because I also have two uh, Dart XLs, so I might break one camera. But um, it's it's a really nice camera, and I thought it was a really good deal. And uh, I went ahead and jumped on the other one. So right now, like this, I have three batteries and two cameras. So this is going to be super awesome. So that's one thing. I'll have a link to this combo down below. I thought it was good, so I, I got it for myself here. Now, I also got these here. Actually, no, this one I didn't get. This one was sent to me by Banggood. It's a 1S uh, lithium polymer or high volt or Lilo charger, which is pretty insane. Now, this might fool you. It says six in one pro charger. You might think there's six outputs, but you're kind of it's kind of yes and no. It's five outputs, as you can tell right here, and it has one USB output. So that's all it is here. We're going to do a in-depth video later on. So what's really nice is you can choose between lithium high volt lithium uh, ion and those lilo batteries which is really nice um and i have this is actually the smallest one so i have three of them so far which will do a head-to-head -head and see which one actually charges to the correct voltage with the oscilloscope and we'll just get into more details however i really do like the form factor it's pretty tiny and i am taking it everywhere especially with the new eosheen trash can it's just awesome so yeah uh this is one thing i'll have it linked down below also which we'll be taking a closer look at later on uh, new flight controller from Skystar here. I wanted to check this one out. It kind of looks like the Mamba in a way and not. So this is going to be pretty interesting here. It's um, it's an F405 OSD. I haven't really dug into the details yet, but it looks okay. Um, most of the pads or most of the connectors can be soldered directly to here. And we'll take a look at this later on in depth in a later video. So let's put this to the side. Also, the Al RX. Now, this thing seemed to be pretty interesting, and that's why I picked it up. I saw it came up with a really nice way to test this stuff, but I could probably do some long range testing. I was able to make my range even longer, and I'll be sharing that with you guys in a later video. So, I do have quite a few uh, receivers now, uh, Fat Shark re receiver modules here. So, we're going to see how well they stack up against each other on the same day, same environment, same devices and see what we can do in terms of range it could kind of give you somewhat of a good idea of how it will perform but yeah we'll take a look at this later on and we'll also see the ui because some of them might be really good but the ui is so terrible that it just makes you hate it uh, also infinity i got a 6s here battery if i remember correctly i got one of these because i really wanted to test it and um because i blew up the other one if you guys watched my previous video I blew an older one. Uh, this is looking really nice. I have very good experience with Infinity. Some might not. Uh, some have really good experience with the Turnigy brand, which I never got a good experience with those. It's absolutely terrible, the experience that I got with those. So, yeah, uh, Infinity has always been good to me. So, I picked up one of these to see how well it performs. I know it's just one's not enough, but what can I do? Here we have the frame. Uh, this is the Geb RC frame, the Mark III H5. So this is the five inch. It's kind of like the Jeb Geb RC. Um, what was it called? The LX5 or the Leopard? Uh, but it's like more nice. If that's if that's a word, it's a bit nicer. So yeah, this one's gonna be pretty interesting here. We're gonna be taking a look at this frame with another frame also from Flywoo here. I haven't done frames in so long. So they do have an instruction manual. Not all companies do that. So here is the diagram if you might say or the instruction manual so this is a 220 millimeter frame i'm very curious because i want to start building again because the weather's clearing up and i have a lot of projects ahead of me which you guys are going to find interesting and they're all related so they are all in progress and i'm very happy about it, actually let's put this to the side here i also got this little uh it's not like a, really a gimbal stand 
it's more of you know you put your phone on there or a camera and it does kind of like a panorama view or like a time lapse you can do with it so this is going to be pretty cool and interesting i haven't used it just yet it is rechargeable so it's really nice it just goes 360 degrees here uh you can control it via app or just the buttons here and it'll just start turning whatever you want at whatever speed so this might not be interesting to most people out there but i have something for this uh, in an upcoming video which you guys will see also i got the new foxier mix as well we're gonna we'll start by latency testing and then installing it on some kind of a quad don't know which quad just yet but it will be on a quad very soon um they are following the same type of connector as the cadex here the camera is pretty large can you see the lens here so the camera seems to be somewhat large here uh so this is going to be also a pretty interesting piece of hardware um don't know how it's going to test we're going to start by latency testing i think the uh, run cam split had one of the best latency tests if i remember correct from these types of cameras actually this might not be very useful to most people but i actually needed this for the wings and i really wanted to see how it is and it actually seems to be of really really good quality so this is a we can say a portable portable is that the word yeah so this is a portable hot glue gun here i haven't used it just yet but i will be using it and as you can tell here you have a button to turn it on and off it's really nice actually it's, it's one of it's better than the ones i find in the shops around me so that's really cool so it comes with an xt60 to a car battery uh or the cigarette lighter type connector to an xt60 now this right here is hella useful by itself i can use this for a shitload of things which is really nice and um, boom, just like that. That's just super awesome. So yeah, this is going to be very useful, especially for my wings in the field if I run out of super glue. And we do have a light here. I don't know what this light is indicating. It is somewhat of an LED, possibly just to tell you that it's on or not. And we can actually test this, but I don't have any glue for this size. I have a smaller one, so we'll see it later on. So this is, um, I'll have this one linked down below. It pulls around four amps here. Should have said watts, so we know how many watts or amps it would be pulling at each voltage. That'd make a bit more sense to us and also i picked up a bag it's a little designer bag that i needed so this is like i wouldn't say the gucci of drones but anyways this is a bag for the almighty unupdated <laughs> what is it called again what the hell is this one called uh it's not the dark knight the fly sky nirvana so yeah this one this one still needs time guys it needs time but it's just it has so much potential I've seen some people use it, uh, probably they're getting paid to use it, just kidding. Um, but yeah, this thing needs still some time. I haven't watched its recent updates, but I will be looking into it. And if I notice that they have done a lot new uh, fixes, well, not, yeah, well, bug fixes, then I'll go ahead and jump on it. Because I did find a couple issues with running uh, SBUS, I think. SBUS on a FlySky receiver from or something like that. There was some sort of a bug that I noticed. I had it, I said it in the video a while ago. So you can go ahead and check that out. And I also got another gimbal uh, for my airplanes, which is going to be pretty interesting, which is this here. This is really nice. Um, so basically, you put this on your airplane or whatever, helmet, bike, whatever you're going to be using. And you can put your GoPro session. It comes with two heads for the GoPro session as well as the GoPro Hero. And it's really nice because you can also balance it here so you don't have to get creative. You can just twist this here. And you're going to be able to move this to balance it to get it just perfect. So that's really nice in that perspective. Uh, it is chargeable. It is somewhat water resistant and it has a tripod stand. So this is going to be really cool, especially on my, I do have a big 2.4 meter glider that I'm almost finished with and my Dart XL. I don't know how this is going to, I'm going to first fly my Dart XL. I haven't even made in that thing uh, after all the mods I've done to it. So I have two of those. Uh, so I'll be flying it, testing it out. Once it's good, then I'll be sticking this on. It's going to be pretty interesting to see how this performs. It's going to give us really, really beautiful footage. And um, it's going to be really cool, especially on the long, long, long distance runs. Because I got a bunch of lithium ion packs. So it's going to be hella interesting. And, well, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll have a link to everything down below. Go ahead and check those out. Um, those greatly support the channel. Keep the channel afloat. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.